All right, Billy, this is the first paper two I've marked for you this term. Um, 44 you had in the paper one that I marked. Let's see if you can improve on 44. Okay, drop the zero there, but it doesn't matter. Right, they have to be metric units. Yards isn't metric, it is um, imperial. What they're looking for is meters. Liters is good, kilometers and kilograms is good. That's fine as well. So 11 for that first page. That's looking good. That's not a cuboid. A cuboid is a rectangular box. That is a cylinder. That is a pentagon. It's not a triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid is a pyramid with all triangular shapes. It's a triangular prism. Tri I forgot what about. Triangular prism. Okay, a prism is a shape that you can cut and cut and cut and cut and cut, and every time you slice it, the front bit that's been cut is remains the same shape. So only one of those, right? Three. The radius is that one. This one cuts a circle called a chord. This one touches the circle called a tangent. Okay, chord cuts, tangent touches. K, k, t, t. Try and remember it that way. That one's correct. With this one, there's only one line of symmetry and it takes it down the middle there. That one's right, that one's not, that one's the same as a quarter, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 20 divided by 5 is 4, and a quarter is 25% or 0 0.25. The other one is that one, so you got one wrong, uh, didn't get both of the right ones, so that's a mistake, you don't get any marks for that, that one's good. 6 out of 15 is correct but it doesn't totally answer the question because it's not in its simplest form. Looking at those two numbers, hopefully you can see that you can divide them both by three to get two over five. Uh, four for that page. Eight is correct, 11 is correct. A is 12. Unfortunately, that one is uh, eight, four. So 2 mod 4 for that, 3 for that, times by 4, 81 is not correct. What you have to do there is replace the V with 8, but in algebra, in a formula, that's joined by a time. So it isn't 68, it's 6 times 8, which is 48, so you're doing 75, take away 48, which is 27. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So one, and then uh, two, and four. That's a good page. What well, I believe six, seven, ten, twelve on that page. Range is 45. Good stuff. 1428 is correct. So for this one, you're timesing by 1.9 to turn pounds into euros. So to go the other way, you're going to do the opposite of timesing by 1.9, which is dividing by 1.9. Take a look how I work through that one. This one, so there are 1450 volts altogether. Andrew gets 69 out of the 150, and then you would times that by 100 to work it out as percentage. On your calculator, Use the fraction button, 69, 150 times 100, so it's exactly the same as you see it, 46%. 7 pound 20, so 3 pound 12 times 6 is 18.72. Right, that's wrong 
and you've stopped showing me what you've done. What you now need to do is to take the 1872 off the 2904 and that will be four journals and then divide it by four. So there's more work that you need to do before you can get the answer there. So not such a good page. Alright, this is what we were practicing possibly before you came in. So to do the 60, you open your compass, you put the point on A and you open it, so I'll match mine with yours, and you draw that arc which you've done. What you then need to do is to move your compass point to where the curve crosses the line to get a second arc which on yours now is up there where that dot is. You then join the end of the line with that and that gives you your 60 degrees. With this one it won't work unless you're over halfway. So you have to open your compass over halfway first. Then you draw one part of a circle leave your compass as it is, put the point now on the other side and join another circle like that and then where the two circles cross each other is where you draw your line. So practice those, just draw lines, fiddle with compasses. 73 is that angle there, so you've added those up, you've taken away from 360, it gives you that angle. That's not the angle that they want the angle that they want is this one, which is on a straight line. So you have to do 180 take away that. So only one of the two marks uh, can you get there. So 93 pence times 25 is that. Then I'm not sure why you've doubled it. They've used 46, so 25 of those 46 are at that rate, and then the rest of them are at this £1.32 rate. So what you need to be multiplying that by there is the 46 that have been used less the 25 that have been charged at the lower rate. You then do need to add on the £7.45 to get a final answer. So, to give you some marks, you're going to get one mark for doing that. You're going to get one mark for adding on the £7.45. You're going to get one communication mark because you're telling me what you're trying to do. Uh, but unfortunately, all your numbers are wrong. So that's as good as it's going to get. Gets a bit trickier now, but have a look at my how I explain that on my video clip. Well done. Excellent. Um, doesn't show negative correlation. Negative correlation would be if there is a downward trend like that, that's negative correlation. This is random, so the and is random bit is good enough for the marks. Unfortunately, you contradicted yourself there, so I can't give you those marks. Check where you've plotted your points. Yeah, your points are good. So you get those two, seven for the page. Sixteen thirty seventy six is correct. So it has dropped by seven hundred and eighty six pounds. It's not twenty four. It's th sorry, it's not 34, it's 24. Now, let me just check the mark scheme here. So, 
so it's almost perfect you'll get three or four just because of the error you made in that subtraction and take a look at those two on the video clip but that one's really good okay Billy so uh, what did I say 44 is your best um, I think this is better let's see 11 14 18 30 38 39 40 53 50 53 so that's good not as good as it needs to be because that's still just a D um, you are uh, eight marks away from a C but hopefully when you go through that and compare your answers or questions you got wrong with my explanations hopefully you'll easily pick up those eight marks but it's a lot better than the previous one so you're going in the right direction good